At the Toronto International Film Festival, this is Red Carpet Diary from the Visa Infinite Studio. Paul Potts is the very definition of an overnight sensation. His opera career was launched with just one appearance on Britain's Got Talent. And now his incredible story is told in One Chance, which had its world premiere here at the festival. Director David Frankel joins me now. As long as I can remember, I've wanted to sing. But it turned out not everybody loved the sound of my voice as much as my mum did. And I got teased and bullied. It was a seemingly endless drama full of singing and violence. <laughs> Kind of like an opera. Ah. The opera of my life. It sounds like it could have been could have been a really tragic, dark yeah. story, couldn't right. it? Um, yeah. But you didn't want to tell it that way. No, we you know we we wanted to make a comedy. I mean, I wanted to make it an entertainment entertaining movie. And for me, it's you know it's ultimately it's it's it plays as much as like a romantic comedy as anything yeah. you know it's because um, there's just wonderful chemistry between James Corden and Alex Roach and and their love story you know this tale of unconditional love really carries you through the movie and and you just root so hard for them it's true Pavarotti he's nothing but a vingita with a comb over what is that some talent competition where the best performer in Britain gets hundred thousand pound do it toss a coin hey to press send tails we forget all about it here for today, Paul? To sing opera. You got us see this. James, who plays Paul yeah. in the film, is confronted with that so many times over and over again. Um, when to give up? Should I give up? Sure. You know, um, and that's really sort of at the heart of it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I think we all are. You know, I think that happens to everybody. You know, from the time you're a little kid, we all have amazing dreams. You know, we all like. You know, every every kid wants to be famous, and they think you know, the boys want to play sports, and girls want to do whatever, or vice versa, and and. Uh, you know, and then at some point, all those dreams evaporate. You know, and we go to college and we get jobs and we make money and we talk about woulda, coulda, shoulda, and yeah. if only. And and uh, you know, and that's the remarkable thing about Paul is that he had this dream and he didn't stop. As he says, you know, it's not luck that got him here; it's fortune. You know, you sort of work really hard, and and obviously you need to get an opportunity, but you have to be ready for your opportunity. And he was. Well, thank you so much for my, joining us my today. My pleasure. It's great.